Kenneth Flug, governor of the Central Bank Governor of Israel, a repeat A in the group of the best governors for global finance. Uh, first of all, a reaction to our decision, which again is a repeat, but so that's even better. It. It's very nice actually to get the recognition from you. I think it's really a recognition to the professionalism of the staff of the Bank of Israel, and I'm very proud for them. And it's very nice to get your recognition. What can you tell you? Can you tell us about the Israeli economy now and the work of the bank? What are the priorities? What are the issues? Well, the Israeli economy is doing very well in terms of growth, in terms of employment, in terms of unemployment, which is at a record low. And it's not only at the sort of average level, but you see very low unemployment in all parts of Israel, in all levels or brackets of education. And the labor market is really tight. We see an increase in wages. Uh, and so I think generally we're doing very well. Uh, our challenge is how to get inflation also back to our target range. You and many other and countries. And many other countries, right. I think in our case, uh, the fact that the exchange rate has been appreciating is one major factor which actually leads to a lowering uh, prices of the tradable goods and that pushes uh, inflation down. Um, I think partly the appreciation is a result of fundamentals, but partly it's also a result of the very still expansionary uh, policy in some of our major trading partners, uh, obviously the ECB and some others. So we've been actually maintaining a fairly uh, accommodative monetary uh, policy stance, and we will remain there as long as inflation is still below our target. What is the growth actually target for this year and next year? The growth is expected to be a little bit over 3%, which is not far from uh, potential. I think the biggest challenge for the Israeli economy as a whole is actually to, uh, to do now, in the good times actually, what you need to do to have a higher potential growth. And I think that... Fixing the roof? Yeah, that's one way to put it. And it's basically uh, improving our educational system, our vocational training. I think people get to the labor market, and actually we have high participation rate, but they don't get with the, with the adequate skills. And I think this is, I would say, the major challenge. And it's a, sort of a long-term challenge, but it's the time to start. I think we also have room to improve our infrastructure. So these are sort of the key elements in improving our potential growth, inclusive and potential growth. That's where we should aim. And are you at all worried about the normalization from the Federal Reserve and the whole, the end of QE? How will it affect countries like Israel? Actually, I think for us it will be good news in the sense that some of the appreciation pressure on the shekel comes from the very expansion policy. So normalization around us will actually help us in the sense that it will reduce the pressure and will eventually allow us also to move towards normalization. One last question about the IMF and the World Bank meetings. This is important. What, what, uh, what do you think are the key issues and what in general you find is the atmosphere? Well, the atmosphere is generally, I would say, more positive than it has been in a long time. Uh, growth is resuming around the world. Uh, but I think there are some threats and maybe one obvious threat that we are concerned about is the return of protectionism. Uh, as a small open economy, world trade is very important to us. It had been slow, it has accelerated recently, but the threats to sort of uh, raise the uh, protection in different countries is certainly something that uh, I think would be detrimental to countries like us and to the global economy. Because you're also a net exporter. So. That, that's right.